Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with Let's Play Don't Make Cry 3 HD on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we got to this room that I'm not terribly fond of, because it's Boss Rush. And frankly, I don't like half the bosses in the game, so... yeah. Uh, I'm not sure who this guy is, but let's give it a shot. He's orange. Even Army Reborn. Oh, is this like the beginning fight of the game? Is that what this is? Because that would actually be kind of cool. Uh, with the uh, Hell Vanguard or whatever. I can deal with that. That's actually not bad, because he's a nice, easy fight. We fought in the Hell Vanguard about a billion times by now, so we know what we're getting ourselves into. And if they're nice enough to drop any orbs, then that'd be fantastic, but it doesn't mean they will actually drop any orbs. Go away, Nose. I don't have time for you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop my Devil's Order just for the health regen. Stop with your, your blocking stuff. Come here. I don't know if we have to defeat all the bosses or if we just have to defeat like a certain number of them or something like that. Because it said it's the board in the back did say something about like connecting the lights or something, but I think I've connected at least like a couple of them and it doesn't seem to have done a whole lot to us. Oh, we got more of you guys. Okay, cool. Nice little mini boss rush it seems like. Or maybe not mini boss rush, but a whole lot of enemies at the very least, which I don't mind. Especially if some of them drop health orbs, which these guys are not seeming to do. Okay, another hell vanguard. You know what? That's actually not that bad, since again, he's a weaker boss. I mean, he's not bad for a hearse boss, that's for sure. Uh, I think not having some of the some of the moves to help you deal with them made them slightly more challenging than I would have liked. But once you get your moves and you can re-challenge them or fight them as like little mini bosses around, then yeah, he's certainly more than manageable, especially if I'm just taking all this damage here, which I'd rather not. Somebody drop me health, please. Anybody. I came into this fight with very low health. And that's fine, I guess. Come on, you're almost dead. Son of a bitch. I had him down to nothing. Okay. Uh, this one seems like it's going to be easy enough, though, so we just got to figure out where it's at in the weird space that we got going on here. I think it's around up here, though. Let's see. I think it's this way. Okay, this is where the, the backboard is. See, he's orange. I don't know if that's going to actually complete any part of the... Yeah, orange will connect these three lights, at least. But I don't know if that'll help us at all. Green, I'm not going to fight you. Sorry, I just don't like you. I think green was... Actually, I don't remember who green was. Or was green one of the ones we already fought? I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure, so I'm just going to... Keep fighting these guys for the moment. Taking let's go massive damage until the boss comes. Did I get my orbs? Actually, I don't really care about the orbs here. Okay, screw you guys. I don't got time for you. Actually, I do, but still. There you go. Lots of damage to you. You're almost dead. When I can see his health, I, I like fighting a lot more. Because I can tell how close I am to actually killing the dude. Like, when we had to fight him with the Devil Trigger thing, he was a real pain in the ass. because I couldn't tell how much health he had left. Like, if there was an item or something that said, Hey, here is the enemy health bars, that would be fantastic. But I don't think that exists in any Devil May Cry game, really, except for, you know, the bosses. I don't know, just being able to see an enemy health bar is very helpful. Even if it's not, even if something like the boss is here, 
where it's not showing actual numbers or anything, it's just showing, you know, the progress on the bar. You've, you've taken a chunk out of it. That's still better than not being able to see it at all, as far as I'm concerned. Come here, you little rat bastard. Okay, fuck you. I don't know if the enemies besides the boss will keep respawning until the boss is dead, or if there's like a certain amount. I'm assuming it's probably a certain amount, otherwise it'd be kind of a pain, but yeah, whatever. This second Hell Reaver definitely seems to be putting up much more of a fight than the first one. Uh, did you drop me any health? Because that'd be great. You did not. You suck. I hate you. These guys are, this guy's kind of like a mini Hell Reaver, or not Hell Reaver, Hell Vanguard, simply for the fact that he teleports and he occasionally blocks with his scythe and all that other good stuff. Yeah, she's so like a mini version of him almost. Okay, fine, you're dead. Or done, dead, whatever. Same difference. Uh, you guys didn't drop any healing? Of course you didn't. Why would you? Oh well. Okay, we got the bottom part completed. That's nice. Uh, green. Green is Navan. I don't want to do Navan at all. Okay, let's see if we can't find dark blue there, wherever that is, and see what that guy is. That might be that might be Cerberus. And Cerberus should not be that big of a problem, I don't think. So let's see if getting Cerberus out of the way will help us get past this damn area. I mean, this is nowhere near as bad as the fucking randomly generated, or maybe not randomly, but the uh, rooms with, where we had to find the, uh, what is it, the, uh, the fragments. That was a real pain in the ass. This is just mildly annoying because I don't like the bosses. I mean, if you do like the bosses, then you'll probably do pretty good. Uh, okay, you're light blue, actually. I don't know if you're the one we need. Ice Guardian Reborn. Okay, I'm trying to see if... The Cali Ann will actually do anything to this guy. Doesn't seem like it's doing a whole lot, but we'll see. Come on, let's go ahead and kill you here. Okay, we're doing some damage to you at least. That's better than nothing. I can deal with that. Okay, we need to get back to you and start getting rid of your face armor again. That's great. You're just armor in general. Come on, attack something there. Nope. Attack something that's frozen, not the not his leg, please. There you go. Almost. Alright, can I get ready to attack you guys yet? Not quite. Close, I think. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage here, that's fine. Come on. I'm trying to attack your leg to actually put it down on the ground, but it's not really working out terribly well for me here. I think, I'm mo I think I'm mainly just trying to brute force things here, and that's making my life a little more difficult than it needs to be, but you know what? That's fine. I can deal with that. Yeah, I tried to brute force it a bit too much there. But also, I don't think the Trick Master style is really terribly necessary for this fight. I think something like Sword Master would be better, I think. So let's do that. You would think that the grenade launcher would be really good at uh, getting rid of its armor, but apparently not so much. Yeah, previously, the last time we fought this guy, like a minute ago, he wasn't, like, rotating his heads for some reason so I could actually, you know, shoot his ice off. He was being very annoying about that. Okay, we got your ice off. Come on, I'm attacking your legs so we can put you down on the ground. Let's go. 
Come on. There you go. Alright, and devil trigger your faces. Good fly. That did a lot of damage right there. That's much better. When you're actually cooperating here, boss, you're not that bad. When you're not cooperating, you're more of a pain than you need to be. I would really think that the grenade launcher would do much better against this guy that is actually doing, but oh well. I guess they don't want to make it too easy. Come on, get to his other face, please. Come on, attack his... There you go. Alright, now we can just attack his leg and go from there. Out of a bitch. Stop swiping at me. Go away. Trying to get your damn leg, but it's not working out a lot. I'm not sure if our swords are actually taking off the ice here. I think they might be, but I'm not sure at all. I don't think it is, actually. I thought it might have been, but I think I might have just been wishful thinking on my part. Alright, let's go through the other face side there. Come on. You're almost done. Son of a bitch. This guy's putting up way more of a fight than I was expecting. Son of a bitch. Stop that. Come on, I need my double trigger for the healing. There you go. Come on, you're almost dead. And we're both almost dead, but still. It's the principle of the matter. And I died again. Okay. Yeah. I think I think I I think I'm remembering that when he turns red, you can't get him to go to his knees anymore. Or if you can, it's much harder than it was when he wasn't red. So you gotta watch out for that. Also, sometimes he shoots that giant block of ice that does a ton of damage at me. Right? Like, yeah, that right there. And then other times, I barely see it. Like. He'll do it like one time for a fight sometimes, and then that'll be it. And it's kind of good. Oh, see, yeah, now he actually did more than once, which is odd, but we don't take it. Alright, I'm hitting your legs. Let's go. Put you down on the ground. I'm trying to get to your legs, dude. Come here. There you go. I don't know if he actually takes extra damage from the fire of Agni and Rudra here. It seems like he might, but I... I could just be hoping. Okay, we did a fair chunk of damage to him right there without taking too much damage ourselves, which is great. Okay, that did not work out well for me. Sometimes he seems to get dragged back to the beginning of the area real slow like for some reason i'm not sure why but that is actually excellent for you know me damaging him when i need to get your other head your other head not not your not your head that's alive your other head the one that's covered in ice it's not letting me get his other head for some reason there you go And as soon as I got your head uncovered, it's back down to ice. You bastard. I hate when you do that. Okay, we are we are getting rid of the ice on his head with our sword. That's awesome. It seems to be slightly slower than the guns for some reason, or just mildly more inefficient for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. But other than that, I think we're actually going to get him this time. And that'll be great. And hopefully I, I can just say, fuck the other bosses, because... That would be fantastic. Okay, stop that. And you're back to me. Okay, you're not me. I thought you were back to being ice stuff again, but I guess not. Okay, one more head. Let's go. You're almost dead.
You're being much more of a pain in the ass than you need to be there, dude. And I am almost dead again because I am just failing here. How are you? How are you still giving me this many problems, dude? Seriously? Okay. Ah, I thought he killed me because fucking Dante stood there for a second. Hi. Right. He stood still for a second and he was still alive, but I thought he was dead because of the way he was standing there. How is this piece of shit boss giving me this many fucking problems? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna spam the rocket launcher and hope for the best here. Can you not fire the rocket launcher in the air? It's seeming like you can't. And also, it's not seeming to actually melt him at all. Or very, very slowly, it seems like. Yeah, the rocket launcher is not doing anything at all. Yeah, I'd rather not deal with that, thanks. Okay, attack his leg. There you go. Come here. Get over there. Okay, your leg's down. That's great. Yeah, once he gets down to his red mode, he becomes way harder. At least it seems like it does. Okay, can I attack your other heads now? That'd be great. Okay, we got one of his heads. We got two of his heads. Now we just gotta go for head number three. And now he's actually spamming the ice ball attack a little more than previously, which is something that he doesn't always do. But when he does, it's a pain since it's long range and pretty powerful. Attack his head. There you go. His head with the ice, dude. Come on. I'm just attack your legs. Your leg works. That's fine by me. I don't really care what I'm attacking as long as I'm attacking something here. Attack his head. There. One of his heads needs to be defrosted, please. Attack his head. Come here. He almost gets like stuck to the side, and it's kind of a real pain to aim for the head that you need to here. There you go. You know, just attack something there. Come on, you're almost dead. Jeez, this guy took... Oh, he actually did fall down. This guy took way longer than he needed to for some reason. I don't know why. I didn't have any problems against him when I came back for, like, the last time that I re-ran through the game. I mean, granted, that was a while ago. And I think he might have been more fresh in my mind, but still. Please tell me I'm done. Okay, purple. Where is purple? Green is the van. Purple is... Who's, who the heck is purple? Purple is not... You're purple, right? Okay, you're not the one that I was thinking of. I was thinking green was you. I don't know why. Who the heck is green? Who the heck is green? Then what? And can I just like find him and fight him? No, green is Agni and Ruja. Fuck. I don't want to fight either of you. I don't like either of you. You die. Come on. 
Why won't your fucking bats go away, lady? Okay, I'm gonna try Agni and Rudra again, just simply for the fact that sometimes they're nice enough to let me damage them. Sometimes, not so much. Uh, I think I'm gonna switch over to Trickmaster, though, just or Trickster, just so I don't have to deal with... Just so I can dodge out of their ways. Okay, green, where are you at, dude? Also, they should really should have just made this like a room full of like pillars with the the colors on them, so you can just buy. Oh, I here's the green. I can just find it and you know deal with it instead of having to run around finding everything here. There you are. All right, now feel free to actually attack me here, dudes. That'd be fantastic. Okay, as far as I know, you're supposed to release your weapon when I counter like that. There you go. I, I need the rebellion, not your weapon, because I'm pretty sure you guys are resistant to your own weapons, right? Okay, your guys are doing okay here. Alright, uh, I, I need green to attack me here. Come on, green, let's go. Attack me. Okay, Green's being, like, real douchey right now, and I'd rather him not be. Okay, you guys don't run at me like that. Come on, hit me. There you go. Lost damage there. Lost damage. Awesome. Alright. Somebody attack me, I don't care who. Just attack me here. Okay, I pressed the attack button, you fuck. Come on, I'm attack I'm pressing the attack button, but I guess I'm going way too fast or way too slow, I'm not sure. Dying here. Attack me. There you go. Okay, you're just about dead. I'm not going to kill you yet because that's not a good thing. Oh, you're just about dead too. And I did not realize that you were ready to be attacked there, guy. Um, I hate to do this, but I'm just going to go ahead and say fuck it and pop a. You know, let's pop a Devil Star. I can use that for health recovery. That's fine. Without actually using the the good item here. Alright, uh, somebody attack me. Okay, you know what? I think I might need the, uh, the vital star. Brown, attack me. Oh, you're almost dead. You know what? Let, let's let ha let's have the green guy attack me. Okay, you're dead. And now we gotta quickly kill Green before he grabs his brother's sword. He's about to grab his brother's sword. Cancel the cutscene, you fuck! Why can't I cancel the fucking cutscene? Why can't I cancel the cutscene? I get it, you have two swords. Fuck off. Oh, it's screw away, dude. Okay, here, I got Devil Trigger, you got two swords. You're about to die. Goodbye. There you go. Actually, it might have been a little easier once he got the two swords, since you can actually attack him without him auto-guarding. I hate that bullshit in this game. I really fucking do. Whoever thought that was a good idea, fuck you. If it wasn't for that, a lot of a lot of the bosses would be a lot more enjoyable in my opinion here. 
Please tell me I'm done, because I don't feel like fighting these other fuckers. Okay, finally. Fuck off. Arkham, somehow you got uglier. I didn't think that was possible, but you did. Okay, we got plenty of orbs there. Stylish points, we did okay. We took a billion damage, and we used items, so fuck it, who cares. See... Oh, they actually did give us boss bonus. Not anywhere near enough, in my opinion, but I'll take it. Okay, so we are done with mission 18. Screw that damn boss rush, boss rush stuff. And up, next episode, we're... It looks like we might be taking on Arkham. I'm not entirely sure, but either that or we're going to be getting close to him. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Please, no more boss rushes. Please. Have a good night.